Standing by down in the Reds' dugout, and the guy we expect to hear plenty of noise from this season is Matt Latos. Here's Jim Day. Tom, thank you very much. He is one of the newest Cincinnati Reds, and uh, you've been asked this question a thousand times. Uh, but it's our first broadcast back to Cincinnati as uh, one of your boys, uh, Deanna Navarro, is messing with you behind you. But how excited are you to be a part of this club? I'm extremely excited, um, you know, with a lot of talent on this ball club and just looking to jump in the rotation. Uh, a lot of proven guys that have uh, done a lot with this uh, with this ball club and just a uh, you know, playoff push and uh, hopefully a World Series. New experience for you fitting into a new club. Uh, Reds have had a pretty good clubhouse. You fitting in? Yeah, yeah. For the most part, uh, just getting to know the, the new guys and getting to know uh, personalities and, and who's who and, and uh, who, what, what, uh, what everybody's all about. Quick inning for the Reds. We'll be back with more after this. As Cincinnati Reds baseball continues on the home of the Reds, Fox Sports Ohio. That's why I sort of, you know, I don't know how you feel about it, Chris. I sort of always, my eyes go cross-eyed when I hear guys look at you in the eye and say, man, you guys gave up a lot to get late to us. And I'll say, okay, well, maybe they did. But nobody knows that because a lot of those guys haven't done it in the big leagues yet. So we'll find out. Mm -hmm. They might be right, but they might not be right. Well, once you make the trade, I think you have to, uh, to cut ties with those guys. You know, we all like Yonder Alonso. I yep. love the guy as, as, a, as a young man, as a hard worker. But I'm not, I mean, I'll watch what Yonder Alonso does, but I care more now what Matt Latos does. He's my guy now. He's on my team. And I want to see Matt Latos perform. And I hope those other guys do well over there in San Diego and Travis Wood does well in Chicago and so on. So I hope that all works out great for them. But I want the guys on the Reds that they traded for to be the guys that begin to excel so that they take the forefront. And, and I think that's the way you've got to approach something like that. So we have our first my guy claim of the year. You know, Matt didn't take long, is now your guy. Didn't that's take a good long. one to have. Yeah. A couple of years ago, it was Joey Votto. No. No. Reds take the field. We go to the bottom of the first inning. On the mound is the right-hander, Matt Latos. Latos, at 24 years old, acquired in that deal on the 17th of December with San Diego. It was really the first big deal that the Reds pulled off. Remember, the winter meetings had ended, and everyone was uh, up in arms about the fact that Walt Jockety and company hadn't done anything at the winter meetings. And now we're going to go through another winter like we did following the 2010 uh, season. But, boy, things really started to move then. They acquired Latos and the deal that sent Yonder Alonso, Brad Boxberger, Yasmani Grandal, and Edinson Volquez over to San Diego. And the big thing is that Latos is under the team's control now for a number of years before he hits free agency. 6'6", 235, Latos ready to work to Sean Figgins, a switch hitting shortstop, bottom of the first. First one on the way, and it misses outside for ball one. Latos misses low and outside. And Figgins, the former angel, takes a strike on the outside corner. And Latos gets on the board there. It's 2-1. and one. I mentioned Matt is 24 years old, 6'6", 235. Born in Alexandria, Virginia. Lives now in San Diego. Here's the 2-1. And it's sliced foul by Figgins. Two balls and two strikes. A year ago, won nine games, 9-14. Nine and 14. With a 3.47 ERA, broke into the big leagues in 2009 with San Diego. His best year to date, 2010, when he won 14, and an ERA of 2.92. 2-2 pitch. He swings and pops it up. Shallow left. Going out is Yanish. Coming in is Willie Harris, and it's the shortstop Yanish who settles under it. He makes the catch, and Figgins is gone for out number one. Batter will be Munanori Kawasaki. He takes a ball on the inside part. One ball, one strike. He did a very good job in terms of stolen bases in his career over there. He's 31 years old as he fouls this one out of play, and he's at one and two. Here's the one-two pitch, and he takes it low for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Now he, here's the two-two to Kawasaki, and he takes it low for a ball, ball three. Latos walked many well last year. Pretty good. 62 walks, 194 in the third inning. So less than 
One every three innings, a pretty good number. Figures to work two innings here today. And the 3-2 pitch. Just getting a piece of it. The left-handed hitting Kawasaki fouls it back. Leto's ready. Brings it plateward. And it just misses inside for ball four. Leto's appeared as if he wanted to call. That pitch had some late movement on it. Hannigan is catching him. Did get the call from Mike DeMuro. Kawasaki is on with a walk on a 3-2 pitch. So here's Ichiro. The pitch. Up and away a ball. Snap throw to first by Hannigan. Kawasaki gets back in time. The 1-0. And Ichiro takes it up and away a ball. It's two balls and no strikes. Leto stretches, delivers. And Ichiro pops it up. Shallow left. Harris glasses down. Blocks the sun. And he lost the ball. And it drops in for a hit. Hard to tell in watching him come in if he had his right hand up to block the sun or he simply could not see the ball. As it turned out, he didn't see the ball. He came in. Ball hit about four feet to his left. That'll be credited as a hit for Suzuki. And Seattle has two on with one out. Now, we talked yesterday, while in Goodyear, about the high sky. And there were some cloud cover yesterday, making it a little bit easier to judge the baseball. But on a day like today, not a cloud to be found anywhere. Very tough on the outfielders. No clouds around. That's what they call the high sky. And it can be extremely difficult, as Willie Harris showed right there. It's now a chance for Justin Smoke, their first baseman. Left-hander against Latos. Matt delivers. And a ball inside. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. And he tips it foul. One ball and one strike. Here's the pitch. And he lines it into right. That's down in front of Heisey for a hit. Kawasaki comes charging around third. Then is held. And now Suzuki goes to third. Reds will get an out. It figures with this. As now they throw to the second baseman, Negron. He puts the tag on. And Ichiro is out. Kawasaki came charging around third. Jeff Datz put the stop sign on maybe a little bit late. And as Ichiro rounded second base, he had his head down. He was galloping toward third. The ball was cut off by the third baseman, Valdez, and he actually then gave it to He gave it to Yanish, and Yanish put the tag on. So it goes 9-5-6. Heisey to Valdez to Yanish. They get Suzuki at third base. Ichiro caught there with his head down, figuring that Kawasaki was going to try to score. He was going to try to get over to third. To second on the throw went Smoke. And now it's Mike Carp, still another lefty. And an opportunity to give Seattle a first inning run. Smoke gets the hit, so three straight have reached. But the base running blunder by Ichiro as the Mariners with runners at second and third now and two men out. Carp, the left fielder. One strike to him. One for four thus far this spring for Carp. He swings and hits a high fly ball to right. Heising will be on the move, on the track, near the wall. He is there to haul it in. Long drive by Mike Carp, but out to end the bottom of the first inning. Two hits, a walk, a man caught on the bases. Two men left for Seattle. We're through one here in Peoria. No score. This is Red Spring Training Baseball on Reds.com. Game will move to the bottom of the second. No score in this contest from Peoria in the Peoria Sports Complex. Mariners and the Reds. Back to the mound will go Matt Latos. He labored somewhat in the first, walked about batter, gave up a couple of hits, but uh, base running mistake by Ichiro helped his cause, and then he got the fly ball deep to right by Mike Carp, putting a zero on the board in the bottom of the first. So here he goes in the bottom of the second. Casper Wells, the center fielder, leads things off. First pitch to him, a ball. Next one, a check swing strike. And he's at one ball and one strike. Pitch is in the dirt now to Wells, and it's two balls and one strike. Here's a high fly ball to left field, carrying well. Willie Harris near the wall is there. 
and he'll haul it in. That's two consecutive drives that have gone to the wall off the bat of the Mariners, both caught by Reds outfielders. One out, and the batter will be Alex Liddy. This is a ground ball by Liddy to the shortstop, handled by Yanish for the second out. And the batter will be Jorman Chavez. Here's a ground ball by Chavez to short. Charging it is Yanish. Gets it and throws in time, and the inning is over. The Mariners go down in order in the bottom of the second. We'll head to the third, no score. This is Red Spring Training Baseball on Reds.com.